Hi there. It's Warren here. Uh, you'll be listening to uh, the Chef on Chef on Pandemic with me, Warren Johnson. Um, I decided to put it on the the YouTube. So hey, give it a listen, uh, give it a like, and maybe subscribe. And also, you can find me on the Instagram at uh, Mr Beard MCR for all the pictures and stuff like that. So yeah. Keep on listening. And uh, again, thanks for the listen. Okay, bye now. And uh, welcome to the World Ceremonies, which was held on the BBC for the TV BAFTA TV Award 2020. Uh, lead actress, winner, Glenda Jackson, Elizabeth Missing in the BBC One. Uh, leading actor, winner, Jared Harrison, Chernobyl, I actually saw that one. Uh, supporting actress, winner, Naomi Ackling, The End of the Effing World, Channel 4. Uh, supporting actor, winner, William Sharpie, Girly ha- forward slash Haji, BBC 2, I, I didn't see that one. Entertainment perform- performance, uh, winner, More Gilligan, the latest show with More Gilligan, Channel 4. I didn't see that one here. Uh, male performance in a comedy program, a winner, Jamie Tammy Tamiflurf. No, didn't see that either. Uh, female performer, performer in a comedy program, winner, Siano Clifford Fleabag, BBC 3. Uh, didn't see that one either. Uh, drama series, winner. The End of the Effing World, Channel 4. Oh, The Crown came second. Huh. Should have won. Uh, single drama. Uh, winner, Left Behind Bars, BBC 3. Uh, miniseries. Winner, Chernobyl, Sky Atlantic. I did see that one. Uh, soap opera. Winner, Emmerdale. Really? Coronation, surely. Anyway, hello and welcome to the... Uh, Hang on a minute. It's going to start in a minute. Ah, Saturday. Hello and welcome to the podcast. It is a Saturday in Manchester. Hello. Oh, what a week. What a week. Still no work. Still podding though. How's your week been? Hope it's been alright. Hope you're not being a, a victim to the coronavirus and, uh, pandemic. No lost jobs. Still doing it. Still going out. I'm still plodding along, as you do. Uh, we, sp- we still have time for um, award ceremonies. So I say, like, the first little link. Um, I'm surprised. Like, I don't know literally hardly any of the winners are. I know Chernobyl. That's all that. On Sky, Ch- on Sky Atlantic. I think I might do a bit of a uh, dip it back into that, actually. Um, sometime this week. Got a lot on. Got a lot to watch. I've got The Umbrella. I was watching The Umbrella Academy uh, yesterday. I watched about four episodes. They're about 40 minutes long. But you can have too much of a good thing. Uh, I'm still, you know, I kind of want to spread it out a little bit. I, I haven't even seen the, the final six episodes of um, Bowman, uh, Bo Jackman, uh, Horse, Horseman, Bo Jackman, whatever it's called, the animated series with, with the um, with the horse. I still haven't seen it. Yeah, still, still haven't seen the final episodes of that yet. I think it was about five episodes. Yeah, just trying to trying to trying to just save it, savor it, savor it. Also, I've got to watch uh, Star Wars uh, episode three yet. Yeah. The one where Darth Vader dies. Obviously, I went to the uh, cinema on, I think, Wednesday this week. First time in four months. And I went to see uh, Star Wars. Uh, episode two, or would it be episode one, two, three, four in, no, four, five. It'd be episode five, wouldn't it? The Empire Strikes Back. It's where, uh, spoiler alert, uh, Luke finds out Darth Vader is his father. What's that? In Dolby surround sound and a big screen and a nice comfy leather 
seat. Re recliner as well. There's only like two other people in there. A couple. Yeah. I didn't have any snacks though. I, w I was tempted to get pick and mix from a shop uh, near it, near there. Um, it's, it's all part of a big complex, but I, I was going to go in there. There was like like a fiver, a five pound fifty for a small container of mixed sweets. It's like when did that happen? Five quid. I'm not having that. I also like um, Swedish fish. They're nice. If if if, if you ever have. I'm not even going to tell you what they are. It just goes uh, Swedish fish. For sweets. Really, really nice. But don't, have, don't get silverfish like I've got at the moment in the flat. You know what silverfish? The Swedish fish you want to have. But yeah. Lot on. Uh, but yeah, I haven't seen many of these. Many of these, actually. Single. The winner's here. The winner's here. Single drama. Uh, winner is left behind. Uh, BBC. I haven't seen that. That, that would be on the iPlayer, surely. Miniseries, uh, Chernobyl, that, I've seen that. Soap operas, continuing Emmerdale. Not seen that in years. Korean Street, not seen that in years. Uh, international. Um, it has here, Succession on Sky Atlantic. And I did see that. Uh, but the winner was, winner was, winner, when they, when they, when they see us. Now, I've not seen that. I'm, I might have to dip into that, because that one, International. Uh, entertainment programmes, Strictly Come Dancing. Uh, no, not seen that either. Uh, comedy Entertainment Programme. Winner, Taskmaster. Masters. Now, that's, been, that's on Dave. Not seen that either. Never seen that. And that's been going for about 10 years now. Uh, scripted comedy. comedy uh, staff, Let's Flat. Let's Flat. Not seen that. Never even heard of that. Uh, scripted comedy. Uh, Fleabag was there. Derby Girl. Uh, features. Uh, winner. The Miss. The Miss Adventures of Romish Ragnarish. BBC Two. Not seen that. Uh, must see. Must see television moments. Uh, Coronation Street. The death of Sinad Osborne. Mm, don't know that. Fleabag. Uh, confession scene. Uh, Game of Thrones. Ashley Aegilis kills the Night King. No, but the winner was. I did see this one. This was at Christmas. It was Gavin and Stacey. Nesse proposes to Smithy. So that that was on. I think it was on BBC Christmas Day. Uh, Line of Duty. Uh, I don't want to spoil it because that's on Netflix in it. Uh, Love. Love Island? <laughs> what? Love Island? Michael recoup, recoup, recouples... What? Michael recouples after Kaz... After Kaz Amor. No idea. I've got absolutely no idea who they are. Uh, single document. Um, winner, Last Survivors. Uh, factual series. Uh, the winner was Leaving... Leaving Neverland? Really? Oh man, it says I mean, don't don't f with cats hunting an inter internet killer. That's on Netflix, by the way. Um, I'd highly recommend watching that. That's great. I think I think Leaving Neverland is possibly on the Channel Four O Four. I think. But really, that didn't win. Uh, reality and construction factual it. Huh? Oh, right, okay. Uh, winner, race across the world. Didn't see that either. Uh, ba -ba -ba news coverage, ch -ch 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 Hong Kong protests, sports. Winner, 2019 Rugby World Cup England versus South of South Africa. Uh, live events, now. <laughs> live events. Now, what we've got here right okay 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 so we've got blue planet live election 2019 live glastonbury 2019 bbc2 uh or operation live now what do you think would probably win my guess if i was you would be in glastonbury because that's over like four days hundreds of artists but no blue planet live won really Ugh. 
short form program. Brain and Gear, BBC iPlayer. Um, again, no, I didn't see any of that. No, I mean, I, I think I must, must be out of touch. I literally don't know what's going on. Oh, I'm going to have to watch all of them now. I'm still backlocked over Father Ted. I'm watching that at the moment. I'm watching Father Ted and Spaced. Um, I think what I think one's on um, Channel Four. Uh, all four. One's on all four, and Spaced is on. I think Net Netflix or. Uh, Oh, you can go all four either. Uh, Netflix is without adverts, and the um, Channel Four, more four is. I still haven't got managed to get the big breakfast on, by the way. On the uh, on more four, I did email them like several months ago, at the beginning of the of the pandemic, asking it, it would be quite nice to have like uh, the the big breakfast on. The, the peak time, obviously, from like 1993 to 95 or something. Was it 95 when, when Chris Evans left? I don't know. That was peak. That was peak with Zig and Zag. Zig and Zag came back as well um, a bit. Uh, they were up in Wales or Scotland. Oh, no, it was Ireland, Ireland TV. Northern Ireland TV. Well, I think they were on. Uh, but yeah, they, they, uh, they, they came back for a bit. Uh, you can still see them, actually. Yeah, on, on the YouTube. They do, they do a bit of YouTubing. Hmm. I'll just type in uh, the Big Breakfast. I'm sure they, well, they've actually got the first episode on on the YouTube. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, that's me banging on. Uh, some bit of news. I've been watching um, the the Rupert Murdoch documentary on the BBC, The Rise of Murdoch. Fantastic, really insightful of the inner dealings of the uh, entertainment business and the government business as well. Yeah, but today, but today, it's kind of shocking, really. Uh, Rupert Murdoch's son James has quit. I'm leaving. Quit the business. Bosh done. I wonder why that happened. Do you think there's anything to do with the BBC series? I don't know. But yeah, Murdoch's younger son, uh, James, uh, has left the business in a dis- disagreement over editorial content. He's recently been uh, complaining to his father about his stance on, I think, the global, global uh, stuff, um, climate change. I think um, he was. Did he? I think he was in charge. The, the documentary that I was I was watching was back in. Uh, I think it was 1997. I think when he was in charge of News Corp in England. He was in charge of the news of the world and stuff like that. Uh, Sky News. No, no, he was in charge of Sky News, that was it. And then that scandal broke about phone tapping. And he was basically in charge. Uh, but it had to be a scapegoat. And there were many of them. And I think James was, was one of them. Because he, he, he was, uh, well, gotten rid of. So he was no longer in charge of the UK hand. So he, he was um, taken off to uh, back to America. But yeah, he, he has quit. He's, but he's got a lot of money anyway. I don't know what he's going to do for a job. He's only worked for his father. I wonder if he's only worked for his father. Hmm. Yeah. I bet he's got lots of money. He's got a lot of money. But let's have some positive news, shall we? Positive news. Positive news. Um, apparently, there, there's been a rise in people helping out... Uh, the uh, Woodland Trust. Apparently, uh, they 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 uh, put out a call asking people to spy on not their neighbours, but to spy on nature. And they had uh, a nature calendar project project during lockdown, first few weeks of lockdown, and they had a record number of people. Um, looking at birds, little Tweety birds, which is quite sweet. Uh, I've noticed that there's been a number of birds. I've, I've got a particular small bird who keeps popping up up around the flat. I think I may, I may go to the Asda's because like, the Asda's got like loads of bird seeds and stuff. So I might get a particular one that attracts particular birds. I mean, we're on the ninth floor, so I'm, I'm, I think birds can actually come up and I might just get it. And, and feeds particular ones. I don't know, like a robin or something like that. 
but like yeah robins do, do appear um from time to time but they're kind of gray gray during the summertime and then winter time they they uh they uh, they get red they go red uh, the British Scientist Association have also urged members of the public to, cl- to look out for tiger, tiger spider monkeys, tiger spider monkeys in drone footage clips in Central America forests to help tackle habitat loss. When I first read this, I thought, do, 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 do spider monkeys live in England? But no, South America. Yeah. Uh, you can monitor bees. A new project by Savies, Savies Bees and Norwich Research Park is encouraging people to share how they are using bee hostels in their gardens to gather uh, information of help of helping pollinate and things. Um, I quite like to do that. Or you can go out <laughs> and track plastic pollution Earth Challenge. Uh, you can go there. Earth Challenge was launched, launched in April, aiming to collect the largest amount of citizens, cities, citizens science data around plastic pollutions and air quality in the world, starting by building a global database of source of plastic pollution. I'm going to click on that. Let's have a look. Uh, I, well, I, I hope you're having a lovely day off today. I am. Uh. Oh, you're gonna have to get the uh, oh, you're gonna have to download the app. Um, yeah, that's 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 oh, can't go with that. But yeah, if you want to go, just um, I don't know, download the app, I guess. Yeah, Earth Challenge 2020. Tap that in. Tap that in in, in the YouTube's. And you get it. In other news, <laughs> animal news. I do like my animal news on a Saturday. A a blue lobster has been found in a tank <laughs> in a red lobster um, restaurant in America. Don't panic! Don't panic! He was saved. Yeah, he was saved. I mean, like, yeah. Apparently, the blue lobsters are one of out of every two million lobsters. So every two million lobsters, one is blue, and the even rarest one, the rarest lobsters are white, which is one in every one. So every hundred million lobsters. Wow, I seem to remember there was a story down in Newkip, and I think that they had like a, a white lobster, but someone nicked it and cooked it, which is pretty bad. But this this the rare, little, this little blue lobster was captured, uh, put in a red lobster in a little tank, uh, but was saved and is now at Arkan Zoo. Oh, that's sweet. So yeah, he was saved from being eaten. I actually went, I was actually in uh, Cornwall about several like what is it, 15, 15 years ago, and uh, I had a lobster. Lovely it was. I picked it out, but then I actually uh, adopted one. Yeah, yeah. I, I, it was tiny. It was only a tiny little one, a little small one, no bigger than maybe a penny piece. And uh, I adopted him. I forgot what it's called. Now. I think I might have called him Ziggy. I think. But yeah, somewhere right now, little Ziggy is somewhere in the Atlantic or wherever they go to. So yeah, I, I, I adopt I think I might have still got the certificate somewhere. <laughs> I think so. Yeah. But that is a story about a blue lobster. I'm surprised that Disney hasn't even done a uh, like a, a major movie about a blue lobster yet. I, I might pitch him the idea. What do you think? Yeah. I, I would call call it Larry the Blue Lobster. And he has to do... Uh, he, and he's got like a quest... He gets rejected from all the other lobsters, yeah, because he's blue. And he goes away, and then he saves them. That's it. I, that's what I'll do. I'll, 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 I'll get in contact with Disney right now and pitch him the idea. What do you think? There's some it. I'll tell you something. It'd be, it'd be content for the, um, for the podcast, I can tell you. Imagine that going to New York, America, even. It'd be great. And of course, it is a Saturday. 
the moment, I'm watching uh, I'm watching the snooker with the sound off. <laughs> and I can tell you something, I've not watched I've not, I've not, I've not, I've not I haven't watched snooker in absolutely in ages. Um, I don't know who any of these people are. Uh, it's Stuart Bingham is winning Ashley Cartley. Oh no. Uh, who is this? I don't know who this is. Oh, it's, it's called. It's called Jude. Jude Trump. Jude Trump? Yeah, oh, hang on. He's defending world champion. Jude Trump. Um, I wonder if he's English. Is he English? Yeah. I'm watching him right now. Uh, it's order of play. I oh, know, here we go. So, order of play right now is David Gilbert, English, and Kirk uh, Maffin, English. Uh, so, Jude, uh, uh, where? Oh, I can't even find him. Can't even find him. Oh, how long this is going to go on for? Hmm. I used to be quite good at snooker. Actually, that's a lie. <laughs> I used to be awful. It's, uh, used to be awful. Pool as well. But, yeah. That's going on this weekend. Also, football fans. Hello, football fans. Uh, Arsenal and Chelsea are at 5.30 for the FA Cup final. I'm not really fun in it either. None of them. Zero. None of them. But I've got an interesting fact about the... Uh, I think that the the, the the Chelsea the Chelsea goalkeeper. I've got an interesting fact. So stick around for that one. For an interesting fact about the goalkeeper. But entertainment news. I found out Kevin Smith. Um, I quite I quite like Kevin Smith. He does loads of podcasts. He just doesn't stop talking. He's got like like a thousand podcasts going on, and he just, he, did, he did like a mini YouTube thing for the lockdown. Mm. He did more rats, and um, another one that I can't remember. What's it called now? It's the biggest one he did. It's in black and white. Clerks. That was it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, apparently, uh, Kevin Smith has created a new Green Hornets animated series. Don't know whether where it's going to though. Uh, he is actually in the middle. I think he's doing a He-Man, He-Man one for Netflix, which is coming soon, I think. Uh, but he's also doing a. It looks like a Green Hornet. It's quite. He, he's. Um, he has been doing a Green Hornet for a while. I think he did, or he produced. Um, what did he produce? I think I think some comics of the Green Hornet, and this was like several years ago now. But he, he was involved in the comic of that. But see, now he's doing an animated one. You see, it seems like all things are going animated at the moment. Uh, you've got, um, if you didn't know about this, the, the uh, Jurassic, I think Jurassic World. has got, a, a, it's, it's got an animated one. I thought it's either called Jurassic Park or Jurassic World. I'm going to say Jurassic World because that's got an animated one as well coming. I think this year. And then uh, Star Trek. That's got animated one. Uh, uh, Lower Decks. I'm not too sure when that's going out either. Uh, oh, not August. It's coming out in August, I think. I think it's coming out in August. Uh, but that, that, that's coming out animated. Do you know what I'd love? I'd love to have a Ghostbusters one. Animated series. That'd be cool. Yeah. That'd be very cool. Uh, very cool. Very cool. Um, but I'm, I'm coming up to the end now, aren't I? Oh, I'm gonna squeeze in. I'm gonna squeeze in my goalkeeper fact. Got the Chelsea goalkeeper Kepe uh, Arablago. I can't even say his name. Alzibago has the worst save percentage in the Premier League's history. And this boy, this boy costs seventy-one point six million pound. Yeah, the world's most expensive. The most expensive goalkeeper the world has ever seen. Yeah, literally was. And he's gotten the worst, say, so yeah, the worst save percentages in Premier League history. Yeah, 
It's only, it's only taken him a year to do it. He's only aged 23. How on earth? God, he has kept 14 clean sheets from 36 Premiership League's appearance. Wow. He has, he has conceded 39 goals. And he costs that much money. <laughs> How'd he do it? How'd he do it? God knows. God knows indeed. Anyway, I gotta go. No, really, I gotta go. It's been nice talking to you. Um, I will see you uh, Monday, shall we? Shall we say Monday? Yeah. Let's let's say Monday. We'll come back again. Um, still no word on the job, by the way. So keep on listening. Anyway, gotta go. See you later. Bye bye. So, um, you heard the podcast, uh, so thanks very much for listening. Uh, I hope to see you again, hopefully on the, uh, on the YouTube. Uh, leave, a, leave a like and maybe a message down below. Uh, you'll be getting more contact, content from me, hopefully on YouTube, if I can figure out how to do it a little bit better. Uh, but in the meantime, it's just a podcast. That's all at the moment. Uh, but hopefully I'll be doing a bit more. Okay, uh, thanks for listening. And if you made it to this point, uh, well, hey, thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay, bye now.